everyone i hope you're well welcome back to my channel i don't usually start my vlogs in a bun after coming out of the shower in my bathroom but i feel super fresh i did a very good workout at the gym i did what did i do i did legs and booty and you know when you get your proper sweat on and all i did was like weights and resistance bands and like that kind of like hit workout stuff and it really got me sweating so i felt really good and then i came home and showered and here we are boys and girls we are going out tonight um why was i talking like that i don't know guys trust me sometimes i go through these loopy phases but the main point is that we are going out tonight. I'm going out with my friend Natalie. Um, it is the 28th today. It's actually Mickey's birthday. If any of you guys watch my vlog, my friend Mickey, happy birthday to you. Um, but it was also my friend Natalie's birthday on the 19th of November. And I want to take her out. We're going to Amazonico. Um, we were both on holiday during her birthday. So we're going out tonight instead, um, which I'm really, really excited about. I'm basically just going to get ready. I feel like doing like a TikTok transition thing where like you look like this and then you look pink. But I'm just not that skillful with TikTok. Like I make TikToks and they look like, I would say they were made by a child, but children are way more skillful on TikTok than me. So it would look like it was made by me basically. Um, so guys, if you have any actually good recommendations of places I can learn to edit it, edit tiktoks uh let me know because your girl has no idea like i'll film the intro bit and then i won't know how to like add on clips or like i don't know how to like adjust the clips to the length that i want so yeah i have no idea about tiktok but anyway i have just moisturized i'm gonna curl my hair and then start on my makeup it is 6 50 i'm meant to be at nats at 8 p.m and i think i'm gonna be a bit late i think i'm gonna be there for like 8 30 but it's fine because dinner's not till later so we were just gonna chill i have a christmas hamper to get her it's so nice to have had a few days off of work i am going back to work on new year's eve nights literally going back on the 31st at 9 p.m so i'm gonna have my little new year's eve countdown by myself in hospital um so yeah it feels nice to have had christmas and that whole week off well this whole week off to go back for new year's eve nights and you know it's part of the job i feel like loads of people would be like upset but i feel kind of like new year's eve can also be quite like disappointing sometimes like you will make big plans um with loads of people or your nearest and dearest or whatever and you end up kind of going and it's a bit like deflating like i don't know in my opinion it's like overpriced and deflating vibes but like the only time you'll be sick is if you're on holiday because it doesn't really want matter like what you're doing like you'll just be on a vibe because you're abroad anyway so maybe next year if i'm off and i'm not on nights then i will be abroad on new year's eve and you guys will get a completely different vlog so manifest that with me um but anyway let me start getting ready and i will pick up the camera again like halfway through and i've done my hair so i am i must look so different to you guys also my hair is curled but like i need to brush it out but i am going to do my bronzer and then my blusher and then i've put the glue onto um my fake eyelashes i haven't done false eyelashes stick on i think in like months i think probably since i think if i did them when i was on holiday literally i haven't can't remember the last time i did them i don't really use them that often but Sina got me these for Christmas Day and I didn't use them so I want to use them now. Um, and I don't know why. Have you guys seen like beauty YouTubers that always like I'm going to go off camera to apply my lashes? But it's like why? Or like I'm going to go off camera to apply my eyeliner. It's like why? So I'm always like really confused why they don't just do it on, on camera. Like as in you don't even need to do it in the actual lens. But like just do it in front of the camera. No one's going to judge. I need to fix this blusher sit too because I put on too much. Oops. Okay, right eye first. Also, guys, I cut like the front of my lashes off because I don't like it when it's the whole eye because I feel like it comes off and it doesn't look good. The front of false eyelashes. So I just use mascara. I really need to blend out this blusher, guys. It's actually bugging me out. But I think the eyelashes look all right. I, the trick is to let the glue dry for like two minutes. Because then it's really tacky by the time you put it on your eyelids. So 
they like sit in place really well my uber's one minute away so here is the final look do -do, do -do. wait my bag as well here it is with the bag with the bag um okay i will show you better later because i feel like that was a really shit outfit reveal natalie birthday girl show us your outfit shall we switch on the light can you switch on yes. the light i just want to show everyone how pretty you look oh look at you you look so beautiful so sexy i actually can't cope you're sexier sorry sorry he's sexier i'm not gonna lie but wait bentley's getting jealous hey boys hey boys look at them okay be nice in front of the camera <laughs> guys by the way this is uh banksy's cousins in case you guys haven't met them before um they are definitely a pomeranian vibe if you Get what I mean? Because they're very energetic. Hello! You guys see Banksy do this all the time. Literally, this is such a Pomeranian thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and they're such womanizers. They are such womanizers. They get so many girls. Boys, if you're watching this and you want a dog that will help you <laughs> get girls, get a Pomeranian. Get a Pomeranian. <laughs> okay. Super sexy. Um, we are having pre drinks here. Um, before we go out, Nat doesn't know where we're going, but we're doing a surprise dinner to finally celebrate her birthday because I've been wanting to do that since her birthday, which was on the 19th of November. Same as Sol's. So, where were you? So I was in Rome. So, in uh, so you were in Rome, we were in Dubai, and we're finally doing it now, guys. Better late than never. Yes. But we also can't let it get this long between seeing each other as well because I really missed you. Oh. <laughs> so we're going to go out, and you guys will see where we're going. I think I already told you guys when I was getting ready where we were going. <laughs> How did they perform me? <laughs> it's actually a trick, you know? It's a trick we do, it's a mad trick. Anyway, we're going to finish some TikToks that I filmed when I was at home. Follow me on TikTok, Persian on School Bunny, and you'll see them. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> Tell us what we're eating. We are guides for the eve. <laughs> Tell them that you were surprised, even though I said it like eight times. I could have gone up watching on Amazon. I was like, where are the She was like, Sebi, you got me a bit overdressed for the Amazon rainforest. <laughs> we have some American pork. Nice. We have some beef fillet. You know why? Because it's that time between Christmas and New Year's. <laughs> Guys, I'm making eggs for breakfast with sunflower oil spray. I'm feeling like the pillar of hell. Feel like you should join me on that journey. I actually didn't overeat last night for the first time, and I only drank about two sips of my cocktail, which was basically ice at that point. So I didn't even drink alcohol. So I'm on a fitness journey. Um, I'm probably drinking a little bit tonight because it is my gal Mickey's birthday party. Um, I love the sound that makes. But anyway, um, other than that, we are continuing on a roll. Um, we're continuing on a roll. So, I'm making an omelette with tuna and pesto. Um, which, as I say this, I feel like I've already ruined because I haven't mixed the tuna and pesto because I've been speaking to you guys. BRB. My dear friend, John West, to the rescue. Sugar, how you get so fly? And pouring this in after I've drained. 
all of the oil off. Ooh. So this is what it looks like right now. And then I need to add in some pesto. I need to get some light for under here so you guys can actually see your gal. See me cooking cause you know, master chef. I just put two forkfuls of pesto. That should do. Guys, honestly, culinary queen right here. I literally freak out for myself like 10 times a day. Cause I'm like, you're gonna move out at some point. And you're gonna need to cook for yourself. And I just don't make, I make good food, right? But it's just stuff like this. Like, this is not a conventional, who do you know that has tuna pesto on them? For breakfast. Like, it's just unconventional, like made up. Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, it looks quite divine though. And I didn't use any added oil. I mean, the tuna was in oil, but the oil that is coming. So this is all spray oil. So this is my omelette. It actually looks much nicer in real life than it does in here. And here is me coffee. Hello everyone. <laughs> <laughs> what are you having for breakfast? I'm having veggies and uh, walnut mm. and honey mm -hmm. and uh, bread. And, Sangak. And chai. And chai. Also, my curls actually lasted quite well. Look at that. Very nice. Yeah. Um, oh my God, my parting like this is not the one. But the reason why is because I actually clipped each curl whilst it was still hot. Oh. And then I unclipped it when it cooled down. So I clipped it up. And then in the end, I hairsprayed it all. I learned that from Sol. Sol is a hair queen. If you guys want to learn stuff about hair, go on Sol's channel. Also, my hair. <laughs> well, my hair is very nice too. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, your hair is very nice. Oh, thank you. Yes. Please come and have a sangak. My best friend's got me this mug for my birthday. It's one of my favorite. I think it is maybe my favorite mug ever. Your daddy bought this cheese from organic, new uh, organic um, Turkish shop. It look like uh, kalbas. sausages or yeah. kalbas, yes. Salami. Salami. But taste is like nothing. <laughs> That's how you know it's healthy. <laughs> That's why. I've just been doing some admin work and I find it mad how it's already so dark outside so quickly, like, so depressing why england like my mum was moaning this morning about how bleak it is come on england fix up um but basically admin work done i wanted to show you how cute these presents are that natalie and her boyfriend max got me so cute so basically i gave them a christmas hamper and they gave me like a personalized christmas hamper back um which is really cute, like this is basically the hamper. Um, which I thought was really sweet. I do hampers for my best friends at Christmas. Um, it's like a new tradition. I started it pretty much this year and last year. Um, but I wanna keep on doing it and I try and make each one, like not personal, like super personal, like a, but like just give a little touch to it that's like personal. Um, so whether it be like something for the pets at home or like, I don't know, just something that's a little bit, like I make all of them myself basically, so I just want it to be a bit for, like, from the heart. Um, so it was really sweet that they gave me one back and like in their own way, which I think is so cute and just very, very thoughtful. So the first thing in here is a dog lollipop for Banksy, which is just so cute. Um, the second thing is a bottle of tequila, which is very me, if anyone knows my spirit shot of choice is tequila um and then the third thing was this a body box which contained this it is such a pretty color i feel like the camera is showing it really like a bit darker there we go that's like the true color of it and it's like this gorgeous cut out detailed dress it's just so pretty and like she made sure I didn't have it already. She was like, I stalked your Instagram to make sure because I love Opoly outfits and stuff. And it's the right size as well. So thanks girl. Um, so yeah, I just, 
think it's so cute i just thought i'd show you guys because i was super thoughtful and she also got me some crystals because i like believe in like positive energy affirmations and crystals and um they haven't arrived yet but i just thought that was just so cute so thoughtfulness goes such a long way like i just found all of this so sweet um so thanks again you guys i love you um i'm gonna do some revision and then i'm gonna hopefully hit the gym even if it's for half an hour just because I feel like I'm on a roll with it. So I don't want to mess that up for myself. And then in the evening I have my friend Mickey's um, birthday party. It's not even a party, it's like a dinner. Um, at May Hills. I love May Hills. So yeah, going to be going out with the girls. Didn't you scream like a crazy girl? Yeah, okay, you did too. <laughs> My hair is so gross, but I'm going to the gym. So I will shower and wash my hair after it. Oh my god, look at this. Um basically today's New Year's Eve and I am on night. I think I've already said this a million times to a million people. I've probably even told you guys as well. But, um, I don't know. I think part of me thought, A, we probably won't have a New Year's Eve. I just thought, you know, COVID cases are rising. Maybe Boris will shut down the country, which didn't happen. Um, and then I kind of was like, oh, I don't mind anyway. New Year's is always a disappointment. Then I got invited. So I'm not joking. Not one, not two. But three very cool New Year's Eve plans, which I had to say no to all of them. So yeah, fair to say, this morning when I woke up, I wasn't the most excited about the fact that I have to go to work. Um, but I woke up at 2 in the afternoon. Technically, I woke up at 10 a.m. And then I just did not allow myself to get out of bed so as to force myself to go back to sleep. And then I woke up at 2 in the afternoon. This is to try and help with, obviously, the transition over to night shifts um so yeah i'm gonna be night on night shifts in the next three nights but what that also means is that i get three no two extra days of annual leave on top of my normal annual leave because i'm working on two bank holidays so if you work on a bank holiday usually hospital staffing is minimal it's because like doctors get bank holidays off for like certain shifts so because of that because i'm not getting my bank holiday off because i'm working an on call um, I get what we call a day in lieu. So yeah, that's good. It's like boosted up my annual leave time, which means that I can go away um, and also do more work. That being said, I'm more productive when I am like at work versus when I get leave. Like when I get leave, I feel like I take the day really slowly and fair enough, I am like tired and I do work a lot and I deserve to take things slowly, but I don't tell myself I deserve to take things slowly. Like, I'll beat myself up about like being really slow or about taking my time or like taking an off day. Like I'm like, oh my God, you had one day off Seppi, which you were meant to do X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. And then I think to myself, well, technically that isn't even a day off, is it? But my to-do list is so heavy for stuff to do 
when I'm not at work, I really should be taking advantage of my days off. So anyway, I'm going to the gym now. I'm going to stop by the post office to drop off some stuff I should have dropped off like literally a week ago, but hey ho, here we are. So last night I spent about three hours watching Stephen Butler. I really hope I'm saying Stephen, his name is Stephen, not Steve. I believe it's Stephen Butler on Diary of a CEO. Oh my god, I'm in love with this man's mind. Like the way he thinks and the way he talks, and like he will fully ask the person that he's interviewing the questions that like are on your mind. And yeah, I'm just obsessed with that series. And I watched the one um, with author from The Chimp Paradox, and it was just so mind opening. And they both shared some tips that I really want to take on board. So this morning, like when I told you guys I woke up and I wasn't too thrilled to the fact that I wasn't going out and enjoying myself and living my best young life like the rest of my friends are, and instead I'm going to work, I remind myself that I should actually take a moment before I get on with my day to think about what I'm grateful and I think New Year's Eve is probably an incredible day to think about what you are grateful for um, but if you can try and do that daily in your practice then it will help to create the right mindset for you um, to go on to have a good day and it makes the probability of you having a good day higher um, so yeah I'm just going to take a moment to think and reflect on the things that I'm grateful for and um, express gratitude and just tell myself that I'm happy because I am um, and yeah I just finished my workout and it was very, very intense. You know when you're like dripping in sweat? I can tell you how much I worked out because of my parking. So if my parking expires in 10 minutes, I worked out for 50 minutes. So um, yeah, it was a really intense one. I did legs, bum and abs. So I was just saying basically that I need to make sure I warm down properly because um, the exercise I did are quite intense and I haven't worked out properly in so long that um, if I don't warm down properly then I'm going to be really sore for ages so that's what I'm going to do now <laughs> so I just got home I went to M&S and picked up these two I'm going to have the chocolate one it's basically protein shakes and then I'm going to make myself um, some salmon I'll make one for now and then one for my night shift and I'm probably going to have it with like quinoa or something let's see what i have i also have sweet potato but sweet potato and salmon isn't really the one so yeah um i also feel like i'm going to get more hungry and want more than one meal um but like there's obviously nothing open so i'm thinking should i be mindful and make something for that or should i just try and force myself to stick to one meal and be more healthy because last night i had like a midnight snack at 2am so I need to kind of make healthier choices. Oh yeah, yeah. But I bet you want to. Everything would be alright. We could keep dancing like we're. I know about you, but I'm feeling 22. You keep me next to you. So this one that I'm prepping for later, I've put salt, pepper, chili flakes. Um, and paprika and then I'm going to add some olive oil and some soy sauce to it so I'm gonna rub that all then massage it in and leave it in the fridge and then I'm gonna like fry it and fry light spray just before I leave but just thought I'd show you how I marinated this one and then the other one I'm gonna marinate in sweet chili sauce and have it with the quinoa no it's bulgur wheat sorry not quinoa so I made the bulgur wheat and it is all ready but I'm still kind of full from, from the protein shake, so I don't really want to eat yet. I'll probably make my dinner in like an hour or an hour and a half. 
Um, so I'm just gonna go shower now and basically get ready for my night shift. Um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this vlog and um, this kind of in-between period between Christmas and New Year's where everyone's like, I don't really know what I'm doing with my life. I feel like I was semi-productive, but I had a lot of fun at the same time, which I'm glad about. And I can't wait to see you in the next vlog. I love you all so much and a huge happy new year from me.